Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Earlier today, I heard this gentleman, this man, I really shouldn't call him a gentleman, He's a, he's a despot, he's a wayward spiritual mystic. Many of you know him as Seer, you call him Seer 1, I don't call him that, I call him Seer 0. And he's a Nigerian false prophet that has taken it upon himself to attempt to speak and have, over, and have influence over the lives of and the political destiny of our nation when he doesn't know he doesn't realize that we zambians are the captains of our own fate Ooh, that's deep that's deep boy andrew ajimadu thinks that we bow our knees at the altar of his demonic religion Andrew Seer Zero Ajimadu thinks that we cower, we crumble under the shadow of his ominous false presence. But the truth is, when you look closer at him, when you take a closer look at Andrew, you realize very quickly that he is a, a tiger with a glass jaw. You realize very quickly that Andrew is nothing but a figment of his own imagination. And, and I must point out to you today, tonight, that Andrew seems to think that he wields power over this nation. Because earlier he said, he said that people zambians were writing him zambians were sending him messages and they were saying andrew look at the person you influenced us to vote for the implication there is that zambians made a mistake in 2021 when we ushered in a brand new style of leadership in the embodiment of hagainda hichilema andrew seems to think that zambians feel that we made a mistake when we remove the brutal regime of ECL and the notorious patriotic front, Andrew seems to think that Zambians feel that we made a mistake. And yet the truth is, and this is the truth, the Zambian people voted for HH, not Seer Zero's minions, imps, and demons. Ooh, that's, that's deep there, boy. I need, I need that to sink in your spirit. I need that to get a hold of you. I need that to, to permeate, permeate your personality. The Zambian people, you and I, we ushered in this new administration. We didn't do it at the behest of Andrew and his demons and imps and devils. The Zambian people didn't stand in line for four, five, six, seven hours at the behest and the influence of Andrew 1, Seer 0, Ajimadu. No, sir, the Zambian people, you and I, everybody from the west to the east, north to the south, every single one of us, boy, we stood in line and we ushered in a new administration because we chose it. We willed it into existence. Are you hearing that? Let me say that again. We willed it. Willed it into existence. It was because of our will 
because you and I are free moral agents. We have the power to choose. And that night in 2021, you and I stood in line and said, you know what? We want a different direction for this nation. We don't want to be on this trajectory of brutality and, 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 and disenfranchisement that was meted out by the notorious patriotic front. We said we want a different direction. And when we spoke, the Zambian people spoke loudly and clearly. So far be it from Andrew to suggest that we ushered in HH because of Andrew. That is nonsense. That is, uh, you know, Andrew sometimes believes his own bull roar. Are you, are you getting that? Because I know he's probably watching this. Andrew, sometimes you believe your own bull roar. And any man that believes their own bull roar, their own nonsense, is a dangerous man. And he doesn't know where, where he's standing or how, what his standing is. Because you believe your own bull roar. Everybody knows that it was the Zambian people. You, you and I decide. And then Andrew goes on to say, he says, oh, I've, no, I've never lost any battle. I've never lost whatever I say comes into existence. When I speak it, it becomes, I've never, everything I speak, I can't be defeated. I've never been defeated, he says. <laughs> Well, that's that's bull roar because uh, the truth is Andrew Ajimadu was arrested and deported on charges of child molestation. Does that sound to you like a man that is undefeated? Does that sound to you like a like a man that is the Jagaban? Does that sound to you that like a man that is undisputed? That does that sound to you like a man that is unconquerable? No, man. The problem with many of you is that you believe all that bull roar. You believe the nonsense. You believe the stuff that spews out of Andrew's mouth just because he says it. There are some of you, you are so entangled in this, in this mirage, this false picture of who Andrew Ajimadu is, and you are a victim of his deception. You believe everything he says just because he says it. You're lazy is what it is. For those of you that believe everything, Andrew, you're lazy. That's what it is. And you must understand that this administration, because, you know, he went on to talk about how, you know, HH is this and HH is that. The truth is this administration, and I can tell you quite honestly, this administration is looking for genuine concerns and not aimless complaints. You can find a whole ocean of people who, who want to complain. Complaints are plenty. You can go anywhere in the world. It's easy for people to complain. What, are you trying to suggest that nobody complained during Bakaunda's era? Are you trying to suggest that nobody complained during Bachiloba's era? Are you trying to erroneously suggest that nobody complained during Edgar? Everybody complains. When you give them an opportunity to complain, honey, they will complain. But what we're looking for is we're looking for genuine concerns, fixable concerns, rather than aimless complaints. So if that's the wave that you're riding, if that's the wave that you're, you're, you're sort of uh, surfing on, and saying, well, everybody is complaining. Well, if, if, if that's the wave, then everybody complains. You can go anywhere in the world, they'll complain. They're complaining in America. They're, they're complaining, in, complaining in Bogota, Colombia. They're complaining in Madagascar. They're complaining in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They're complaining in, in, in Columbus, Ohio. What we're looking for are genuine concerns, not aimless complaints. Boom. Now, Andrew goes on to say, H -H, forgive me, I, I don't know how to do a Nigerian accent. Andrew goes on to say, H, H is not a politician. Even Edgar Lungu is not a politician. 
They're amateurs. Well, how in the hell is HH not a politician when, you know, HH has been in active politics, has been an active politician since 2006. So where the hell do you come off saying that HH is not a politician? I mean, the man is a businessman who's been in active politics since 2006. How much of a resume do you need? And besides, Andrew, this is not subject to your approval. Whether or not you believe HH is a politician, we don't care. Who cares? You're just a Nigerian in Nigeria with Nigerian problems. We are Zambians standing on the Zambian soil dealing with our Zambian problems. Who the hell do you think you are coming over here telling us how to run our affairs when your country is embroiled in all manner of corruption? Your nation is embroiled in all types of debauchery. How dare you step up to the microphone and the, and the, and the plate and suggest that you are the answer to our problems. You're not. You're not the answer to our problems. We deal with our own problems. We've got no right to meddle in Nigerian affairs. So what makes you think that you have the right to meddle in our affairs? Andrew Ajimadu, to the left, to the left. You're nothing but a noisemaker. You're a has-been. And here's the thing, and this is what I loved about today's broadcast. I love the fact that Andrew finally recognizes that he no longer has the clout that he thought he once had. I mean, today there were less than 3,000, 4,000 people listening to him. That's telling you something. Andrew, that's a wake-up call. That's saying you don't have it. It's saying you no longer have the, the the attention you once had you know why because zambians have grown up zambians have woken up zambians have come out of the slumber of lethargy and they're seeing things for for the way they really are not the way you're painting them or or, or, or the way you want to paint them <laughs> no 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 zambians have woken up so hand uh, uh, you can holler you can hoop, you can shout, you can scream all you want, Andrew Sear Zero Ajimadu. The bottom line is that Zambians are the captains of their own destiny, and you are not a part of that destiny. The quicker you realize that, the better off you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the left, to the left, to the left, honey. To the left. <laughs> I love it. Well, hey guys, I gotta go. I'm late as it is. I called my wife. I said, "Look, honey, I'm gonna be late tonight. I'm gonna do this thing at eight o'clock." I'm talking about Andrew Sears Zero Ajimadu. She said, "You go get him, honey. Go get him. Shake a leg." Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. God bless. Good night. Bye. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.